Oh, follower, 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 follower. What a chunky pike. <gasps> it's following, coming. Following, following, following. Oh, fish oh, oh, big fish. Today we're gonna see if we can catch pike on these five crazy musky baits. This is up next. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, fish on fish, fish on the double take, yeah, man! Oh my god, no! That is the best hook I've ever seen in my life. In my hands right now, I have five of my favorite musky lures that I am sending over to Sweden in hopes for them to catch some big pike. That was our American colleague Ben Stone from Canalgratis.com. He is a die-hard musky addict from Minnesota and every time we watch his videos, we can't help but think. What would happen if you tried those crazy musculars here in Europe? All right, Mille, what's the plan for today? Today we are going pike fishing once again. Well, that's too bad because I only brought those uh, musculars from uh, our American colleague Ben Stone from Minnesota, avid musky angler. And uh, yeah, he sent us those to see if we can catch a pike on. Yeah, we have no idea what's in the box, but I do smell some bucktails. I know Ben loves to fish top water. Yeah. So, uh, well, something like that. Well, top water could mean piece of depth because uh, yeah, we're in the Åland archipelago, which is known to like, they're not that keen to go up on, on top water. Here. Nope, no, but they're not. we'll see. So uh, let's uh, get this Buster XL into the water. And uh, this episode is actually sponsored by Buster Boats. Finnish boat brand, been around since 1955. Those bad boys are built to last and have been the number one most popular boat in Scandinavia for decades, both as a family boat, but also for us anglers. My first ever boat was an old beaten up Buster R from the 80s. And now we're extremely pumped to try out the brand new Buster XL Fish, a 605 meter beast of a boat built specifically for fishing. Oh yeah, yeah. Welcome we're gonna aboard, catch something big today or what, Fontes? Oh my God, the first time in the Buster Buster XL. Let's go! <laughs> what a beast! It's just going! <laughs> okay, let's hammer the f down to the first spot. Yeah, let's go! There's just something with big boats and big engines. Alright, arrived at the first spot. Yeah. So now. Yeah. Let's open this bad boy. <laughs> so crazy that this one was in Minnesota like a week ago. Yeah. The All right. The towel for you. Oh, look. <laughs> the first thing that comes out is a part of a towel because I didn't have any packing paper or bubble wrap, so I just stuck towels in there. He knows we're going to catch so many pike on this <laughs> today. Ooh, first thing to oh come up here. God. Oh my God. Oh, oh we got oh, some no. problem with this. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, people use this one for musky. This lure might look a little bizarre to you, but this is called a flap tail by Lee Lures, and it's gonna be really interesting to see how this one performs for pike, because the one thing with this bait is you have to fish it extremely, extremely slow. How are we gonna try to catch a pike on this one today? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's Not get... a good start for this one. Ooh, this is Ooh, more something tail. what I would start with. Yeah. Look at this color, man. Of course, if I'm gonna send musky baits, I can't not send the most popular musky lure on the market, that being the double-bladed bucktail purple gold. I think this one's gonna catch some big pike. And then we oh, have the world famous Medusa. Ooh. Husky sized. Chaos tackle Medusa. Giant. I think we'll catch something today. Yeah, that one's gonna be. It has to be a pike of a significant size. Yeah. Is this gonna be too big for pike? I'm really not sure. Bright, flashy colors. And uh, yeah, you guys might have a challenge with this one. We're ready for the next one. I think you're gonna be excited for this one. Hell yeah. Enter crank. Wow. My biggest crankbait, this is a 13 inch Custom X crankbait. This thing moves a lot of water. It's gonna be really tough to retrieve. Built for big muskies, hopefully built for big pike. Only time will tell. Ah, uh, this one will get eaten. I do love the optimism. <laughs> and, and last but not least, or actually it's the smallest one, but it's a top water. Ben, why Ben, Ben. I know top water isn't something that's generally used for pike, at least here in America. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this one works over in Sweden. Ben. Okay, I'm gonna do like you shoot, you pick for me. There you tail. go. And I think we're starting at quite a deep spot, so I'm gonna start with this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, husky sized Medusa yeah. versus giant bucktail thing. Bucktail thing. Yeah. You wanna go with the Abu Garcia Beast Pro Rod? Yep. I think this one is like 300 grams plus at least. Yeah. So it's also interesting to hear the term grams. I'm an American, everything is different over here. It's ounces, inches, we're weird. 
sorry. Hey, uh, now it's time to get going. We have a long ass day. So let's get going. Yeah, Boom. let's do this. I'm really excited to get into this video just to see how everything went. I haven't seen any of this, so I'm eager to get into it. We're just about entering the first spot there. Yeah, and we're gonna stow away those ones in this very convenient little lure holder thing. Very smart way to store your lures. I need that in my boat. I have a pile of baits right there. Pontus, we are now anchored on the first spot. <gasps> yeah, we have two meters here and we had like yeah. six meters right outside there. Let's get going now. Let's get going. Pontus. If I was watching this at first glance, I think they'd be up in Canada. Must be fishing, honestly. It looks identical. All right, Medusa, give me a big pike. <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> This is a chunky lure. Yeah, this one too. Oh, my back is gonna hurt after today. Look at those tails moving in the water. They're like, it's, it's just insane how they're moving. Oi, 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 we're gonna catch freaking fish you today. <gasps> follower, 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 follower. Oh, oh, it was a follower. Oh, it, was it, was it was not a small one, it was not a small one. It was not a small one. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Um, I have to critique the figure eight there a little bit, Millie. Um, first of all, the, the length of the leader is not gonna do any good in the figure eight. Uh, it was too fast, and what were those turns? That was not graceful at all. That was very sharp. You have to keep in mind, if you're doing this with the muskie behind, you're gonna have a very, very large fish that's not gonna be able to turn super tight. So as a muskie angler, it's really important to give a wide, slow turn. It gives that fish much more of a chance to eat the bait in the turn. I think if you did that to a muskie, it would probably swim away and never come back. First blood almost on the Medusa. Didn't take long at all. And what a nice like platform to be standing on. Me, yeah, like, you here, super, you here. super <laughs> nice. Oh man, so they're at least watching the bait. Yep. Now we need someone to commit. Yep. Men far att ta tungt det här och veva in alltså. Hur norkar de veva så här? De har lågt extra rullar. Ja, den här är hög extra hd typ. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight! Oh, it came again, it came again! Scheiße! The one key takeaway in that figure eight was the blade stopping. If you do that with the muskie behind, they're gonna shut off every single time. Oh, we're getting closer, Mila. Like, yeah, follower, hot follower. Next one. We oh. gotta get more chances. Yeah. These uh, weeds look really good, though. The spot looks really cool. I'd be fishing it. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. That was not a small fish. No, that was not a small fish. Oh, oh my god. Figure eight, Mila. Figure eight. Oh my freaking god. <gasps> that was like a meter fish. Easily meter fish. <gasps> they are oh, here. Man. That was cool. That was very musky. Like a lot of times we get these fish that they, they spin around, they boil behind the bait on your retrieve, especially with topwaters and bulging bucktails on the surface. Oh, I just want to know badly how big that fish was. Well, let's just catch it. Yeah. We're getting closer. Oh, no, man. There we go. Fucking big fish, maybe. There we go, dude. Finally. Smack in the middle of those weeds. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a small fish, but still it's the first it fish of the day. I think so. Oh, yeah, it's oh you know, it's a decent fish. Ah. It's a decent fish. So much On the medge. Dude. On the medge. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Ah. There we go. First pike of the day on this one. Oh, well, that's not a bad start of the day. Ah, it's a good starter. Not oh, the 40 inch uh, we're looking for, but a pleasant start. And we know now that the fish are eating this type of bait. For sure. I heard 40 incher. I knew what that meant. Thank you, Millie. Good job, Pontus. Yeah, so much fun. Let's put it back. Yeah. So uh, let's change baits, Millie. Yeah, which one are you going for? I'm going for the crank bait. Leaving Good the choice. for last. This one will be super, super fun to try. Let's see how it swims. First swim. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You're gonna oh get so bit on that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are wow. you guys seeing this? Pushing so much water. Let's look at that. Just rip that through the weeds and boom, baby. Yeah, let's go. I've had enough of this one now. Is it top water time? Yeah, it's top water time. Boom, baby. Oi, 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 oi. 
Here we go, fish on! Fish on the crank! Uh, not the biggest fish, but a pike. <sighs> Very small pike for this size alert. <laughs> oh, fish on, fish, fish on the... Double take, man! <laughs> oh my god! Net, 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 net. Mine, on, on, mine is on the propeller, it's more important than yours. And the net is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> There, there we go! go. Top water pike and <laughs> no. Yes! <laughs> Fighting for hours to get the first one and then double take on this. Här, 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 här. Alltså, vet du, cut. Det är var det sjukaste hugget jag sett i hela mitt liv. I think Millie's fish was more important because it hit right at the boat. Happens a lot of musky fishing. That was a pike acting much like a musky. Nice and healthy. And we're on to the next mission. Yeah, three out of five baits now. Yeah. We're getting there. We're, we're gonna get all of them. Yeah, we're freaking gonna. Yeah, make it. I thought it was gonna be hard only to get Especially one. Especially in the top water. But I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change to another top water now. <laughs> Can't wait to see how this one swims. I'm eager to see how this goes. Oh, the sound from that one. Oh my god. Just slow rolling. I think we're up for a challenge on this one, but I felt so on yours as well. So let's freaking go. Oh, fish on, fish on! Again. What a bite! That was so cool, dude. Like one cast that later. I'm hooked up again. This is a little bit bigger fish than the last one. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, look how she hammered that bait. All right. So I go from not having caught a single fish on top water in 26 years to have caught two in two casts. Happy times! So we are about to enter shore for yeah. shore lunch. Just have a look at this thing. Such a nice ride, yeah, man. It seems like everything is so thought through throughout this whole boat and you can just like, it just breathes quality. Yeah. Welcome ashore, man. Thank you. The bus is parked right outside there. And I'm gonna show you what we have. We have some smoked salmon with potato salad. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Ah, Cheers. Amazing day in life, yeah. once again. Cheers, man. Cheers. We have some nice fish in the boat already, but mm -hmm. we're not done yet. We are not. Mm, not bad. Mm. So let's continue the feast, and two we'll be back on the water again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, these are so good. So how was that for a shore lunch? And that was a very, very nice lunch. And now we need to upsize those pikes. Let's <laughs> fire up the Yamaha. Yeah. I love the sound of Yamaha in the afternoon. The feeling of freedom! Yeah. So nice. So this is what we're fishing now. Two and a half meters, some vegetation. We're seeing some base fish in the surface. So this looks very nice. Quite a chunky pike. It's, it's following, coming. It's following, it's following, it's following. Bigger following. turns, bigger turns. Yes, bigger following. turns. Bigger turns. Ah, what was that? That was awful. Not those sharp turns. Man, I... Oh my god. That was a chunky pike, dude. Like, not too long, but really chunky. Good yep. condition. There you go. That's a perfect turn right there. Those first couple were... Yikes. Okay. We're drifting. We're on them. Now we're fucking on them. Oh, follower, big follower, big follower, big followers, big follower, 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 not far from a meter. As he came into the figure eight, you notice how far he's reaching. That's why musky anglers, we love long rods, nine foot six, ten foot rods. It really helps you get those big turns, keep the lure away from the boat. Big, not far from a meter. What? Oh man, I'm not so used to, get, to doing figure eights. No, I bet all America. You, you need to read it more line. You need to have that leader all oh. the way up in the, in the guides. All musky anglers will look at this totally and roast you. <laughs> roast, roast the heck out of me, but that's something I have to take. To Millie's defense, the long leaders make it so much harder to do an effective figure eight. Our leaders, like Max, are like a foot long, and it's so we can do wider turns. Oh man, my legs are shaking. My legs are shaking. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, take it again, take it again. 
Look at that, this is what they are eating in here. The bream, just cruising around. Well, if there are bream, there are big pike. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's incredible. That's, that's musky like for sure. I mean, if I was seeing this uh, without context, I would be telling you that's a muskie. The color's right, the width of the fish is right, the demeanor in which it's swimming, and the bait's right, of course. Really cool footage. Fish on, that's not a small fish. What a strike. Whoa. Whoa, top Who, water. Who was that, dude? Top water strike on the crankbait. <laughs> that's not such a small fish either. Should I net it? Um, yeah. Whoa, fish, fish on, oh. big fish. Yes, oh. sir, big Holy fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Decent fish at least. Decent fish. It's like a 90. Hammered yes, it. sir, Pontus. Double. Oh, it's big fish, Pontus. Get the net, forget your fish. It's like a meter fish. Is it really is? Yeah, look at this. Oh, yours is big too. Oh my god, no! Yes, you got it! No! no. Oh. Whatever, we have yours. Dude, be ready, be ready. Yes! There we go! <laughs> Double freaking action, man! Such a shame we lost yours. Yeah, but I mean, this oh. one's a little bit bigger. Yes, Pontus! This is a nice freaking oh. pie. Fuck that, we can't put in. Fun, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's okay, no worries. Forget your fish, but I'm sorry you lost it. Oh. <laughs> well, it started with a pike flying out of the air to grab this one yeah. and succeeded. Yeah. But then while I was fighting that one, you kind of speed it up. Yeah, because I saw that Pontus fish was big, so I sped it up like a mother trucker. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then it was like the lightning, like the lightning. Uh, Lightning, whatever. Oh and, man, uh, that was the hardest pick I've ever had. Like I was speeding it so bad, and then it was like a karate kick to the arm. Yeah, and here we have it from a very nice bender. bike in the net. Like, yeah, she's long. That, that's a pretty big head. Yeah, and it seems like our new Buster boat has some mojo in it. It sure has. What an amazing first voyage. Yeah, this Virgin. is the this is the maiden voyage for for this girl. Yeah, the day is far from over. We have a lot of exciting stuff to do. We're yeah. not gonna move places in a while, but let's first we've been in this bay for like 20 minutes now after yeah. after a long move, and uh, yeah, yeah, they're here. Oh, let's have a man. look at the fish. The, this this is the freaking life. Dude. Yeah. I'm so happy about so this. So cool. Okay, let's see. <sighs> there we go! There we go! That's dude. a nice pike! Quick measurement. Quick measurement, and uh, then we're gonna release this fish into the water. I'll give you 97, maybe. Whatever, 96, 97. Okay, amazing oh. fish, 96 centimeters. Yeah. Time for this girl to swim back to chase some more oh, yeah. crazy ass. A post spawner things. versus musky bucktail spinner. 1 0. -oh. <laughs> cool, oh. let's put it back. Yeah. Yes! Cool, yeah. man! Yeah. Boom! Fan, vad skönt! Oj, oj, oj! Okej, ut och kasta igen nu. That was so freaking nice! <laughs> Are you continuing with the spinner? Or yeah, not? I have well, to do that. The only lure we have left now is the oh. freaking top water thing. I'm not uh, ready, I mean, after that double take on subsurface lures. Well, mine took top water. It did. I'm changing to freaking top water. Okay. This one is checked off already, so... Uh, Oh yeah, that's I'm true. I'm freaking changing over. So, thanks for an amazing strike. But, we have one to check off the, the list. So, Mille, let's freaking catch them out. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, just come flying on this. Come on, afternoon snack is served. So, what are you guys even thinking about? Ja, det är fan vad man ska köra för taktik, alltså. Nej, jag ska köra GT-style nu, ja. Där! <laughs> jag vet var så långsamt som propellern inte ska gå nu. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fish on baby! Get the net, get the net. Oh maybe. Not a, not a super big fish. Ah, it's not a super big fish, but there we go! Ah. It's actually not a bad fish, Pontus. It seems like... Uh... 
Yes, sir! So they are feeding us hot water. <laughs> That's not the one I, I'm using. Or it's nice. You are so fucking hot now. Yeah. Oh, dude! Fish number yes. three on the Cannonball Junior top water. Ah, oh, how lovely! Uh, <laughs> so what was your tactic? Not the GT style? <laughs> no, not the GT style, but it was crazy because I tried to reel it so that it didn't spin. Yeah. But then when it started to spin, she came and took. So cool. The biggest fish on top water at least. Yeah. Fontes. Boom! Ah, <laughs> so freaking nice. We're slowly running out of time and we're gonna spend the last hour trying out the 33 centimeter fat nose giant. This one wasn't in the package, but it is musky approved. So let's see how it works for pike. So we have some rain coming and it's time for EJ lures. Here we have a fat nose that I've rigged up with a couple of hooks because it's so damn huge. I'm gonna fish it on a spinner bait rig. <laughs> oh, we are? Yeah, because why not? If it wasn't big enough already, this will do it. I like the spinner rig idea. That's something I haven't seen done for muskies really. Oh, yeah. Catch something on that, it's like half mine because I designed the color and photo fish. Oh, this one is gonna get so eaten. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. There we go! Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Or maybe not. Oh, what a take. It's a big fish. It's a big, big fish. fish. It's a big, big fish. fish. It's a big fish. Get the net. Biggest get the fish. net. Get the net. Okay, we are. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 We have a meter plus. Big time. There we go, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Giant fat nose seals the deal. Oh, my. Oh. That should be a meter at least. Yeah, yeah, easily, easily, oh. easily. Fucking yes! There we have it. We have been fighting a long time. We just took like drift number, what is it? Three or four on this place. Yeah. And we we are trying EJ lures for the first time. I'm using Fat Nose 33 made by Edwin Johansson. And Look at that. That's a shiny bite. It seems like the old myth still goes a long way. Big baits catch big fish. <laughs> yeah. How do you this like is. my photo fish design? Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. It's literally so good. Oh man, here we have the bait that sealed the deal. Man, I love using spinnerbait rigs in the summer. Yeah. Oh man. And big lures. And big, big lures. 33 centimeters. Yeah. 13 inch. And trust okay. me, it ain't too big to get some big fish in the net. Yeah. Show us what you got, man. Oh. I haven't felt a big head like this in a long while. Here we have her! Oh, what a monster fish! Oh, I haven't caught a fish like this in a long time. Biggest fish in the Buster XL. Yeah. I, I dare to say this is a meter fish. Let's, yeah. uh, let's uh, check measure it, it out and, and have a look. Yeah. We're running classic uh, measure tape today and we, oh, yeah. We are talking oh. 108 and a couple of millimeters. What? Are you kidding me? Ah, and it's she's heavy also. Yeah. 108 centimeters. <sighs> well conditioned summer Biggest pike. fish of the year in the Buster XL. Oh, Pontus, we made it. You made it. Oh, oh we, we made it. It's, we yeah. made it. What it was your it? idea to take a drift a little bit further outside to put some lead on the bait and yeah. man, she just thumped it. Yeah, so this one is uh, inspired by the, the black pike color used by Jigar.nu in uh, Fly Rooster yeah. Shirt, the, the, the winning color last year. Yeah. And um, yeah, I designed oh. one in Photofish. If you're not familiar with that tool, you can design your own baits online. It's pretty damn yeah. cool. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> so much fun. You know what I have uh, done myself worthy of? No. Fantastic cafe. Always when we have some success in the boat, it's time for a cup of coffee. Musky baits for pike. Well, if you haven't tried it, do it. Don't try this one though, but uh, yeah. try the, the giant fat nose. Cheers, Pontus. What, what an insane day of fishing this is turning out to be. Ah. Oh. All things must come to an end, and so has this day. Yeah, what an incredible day we've had in the Buster XL fish, man. Yeah, and so much fun to try out those crazy musky lures. We succeeded in catching pike on all of them except the crazy 
top water thing it was just yeah. too much for us so uh yeah super super cool yeah thank you so much to buster boat who sponsored today's video and we can highly recommend checking out their boats at the description down below stay tuned make sure to subscribe to the channel and we see you in the near yeah, future these were not the craziest lures that you're gonna see us no, using this summer we have something much well, much some... more epic yeah we'll be back in the buster with some even crazy lures yeah. very soon we will so, so have a good one and see you guys soon Let's just give it up for them though. That was an epic video. So cool for me to see some of my favorite musky lures put to the test for big European pike. That was really exciting. A little bit scarred on some of the atrocities that I've seen committed in the figure eight, but all in all, that was epic. And uh, I wanna go musky fishing. That's all I gotta say.